Good morning, friends. I have a story for you today. It's Adelita, A Sea Turtle's Journey by Jenny Goebel, illustrated by Anna Mimonoshvili. Let's get started. Under a moonlit sky and below rough, coarse sand, a loggerhead sea turtle was born. She emerged from a squishy egg buried beneath, deep in the ground. When the time came, she rose and rose and rose among a boil of other hatchlings. She was the size of a, sea do a silver dollar. Her shell was soft and new. Her head bobbed, her flippers fluttered. She skittered across the beach, snap, she narrowly escaped a seabird's pointy beak. Click, she dodged the sharp pincers of a crab. Guided by the light of the moon, she slipped into the lapping ocean waves. She propelled herself forward, beating her flippers rapidly. She swam until she found cover in, a dent, in dense seaweed. There she hid from sharks and whales and long-nosed barracuda. When she was tired, she drifted on swift moving currents and was carried deeper and deeper into the ocean. The larger and hungrier she grew, the farther she wandered from home. She wandered and wandered. She wandered until she found a place to feast on lobsters and red crabs. She wandered until a fisherman found her. By then, she had grown to roughly the size of a dinner plate. You're not safe in the Gulf of California, my friend, the fisherman said. Hunters are trapping sea turtles for food. They're selling their shells to be turned into decorations. The fisherman brought the young sea turtle to a group of researchers studying marine life in Baja, California, Mexico. The researchers fed the loggerhead, bathed her, and watched over her. She stared back at them with big black eyes. Years went by, the sea turtle grew and grew and grew until she was large headed, strong jawed and as wide as a manhole cover. She lingered near one side of her cramped tank, the side closest to the ocean. A young researcher named Wallace Nichols watched over her with extra care. Where's your home? He asked. How far did you swim to get here? There wasn't a single nesting beach anywhere near Baja, and yet there were many loggerheads all along the coastline. Wallace and his team thought they might know where the turtles were coming from, but it seemed too far away. What if they could find out if sea turtles were capable of swimming great distances? Wallace knew a way. Researcher, researchers were just starting to use satellite transmitters to track marine life and Wallace used a used, he had a used satellite tag. The research team could return their sea turtle to the ocean and use the tag to gather information as she swam. Finally, they could try to solve the mystery of where all the loggerheads in Baja were coming from. Wallace asked his friend, another fisherman, to help him attach the satellite tag to the loggerhead's shell with a strong but harmless glue. I'm going to call you Adelita, the fisherman said, the same name I gave my daughter. Wallace and the fisherman took Adelita out in a small boat called a punga. They circled the waves until they found the perfect spot. They lifted Adelita over the side. They gently let her go. Wallace was happy and sad all at once. He was excited to see to set Adelita free. But he was also worried. The loggerhead was healthy, but was she fit enough to survive her journey? Adelita held back at first. Perhaps she was also happy and sad. Perhaps she was worried too, but there were no longer walls to stop her. She swam away. While she swam, the satellite tag attached to her shell transmitted her location. Using this data, Wallace created a website to map her progress. Before long, her story caught the attention of more than just researchers and scientists. School children and turtle lovers also took interest. 
Soon, millions of people all over the planet were tracking Adelita's journey on their computers. What a journey it was. Adelita swam and swam and swam. She swam past rugged Guadalupe Island. She rose above the waves to breathe in salty sea air. She rested in caves. The ocean was a dangerous place, full of trash, hooks, nets, and barren stretches, not to mention hungry, wide-eyed predators. But Adelita was bolder now. Her shell was harder, and she was much larger and stronger than the last time she made this journey. She swam past the volcanic islands of Hawaii. She swam past sharks and whales and long-nosed barracuda. She swam past the ring-shaped French frigate Shoals, past remote Wake Island. She was determined to reach the sandy shore where she was born. It was calling her home. Watchers from around the world wondered, Will Adelita ever stop swimming? No, not for over a year at least. Adelita swam for 368 long days. Everyone was amazed as she swam thousands and thousands of miles all the way to Japan. Adelita swam and crossed an entire ocean basin. How far she traveled was astounding. She spent most of her life in a tank, yet she knew exactly where to go once she was set free. After an incredible journey, she finally reached the same water she'd slipped into the night she was born. Adelita's voyage was complete, and Wallace and his team had their answer. Adelita and loggerheads like her swam unbelievable distances to return home in order to mate and lay eggs. But there was another lesson to be learned from Adelita's journey. Shortly after she arrived in the coastal waters of Japan, her transmitter went silent. No one knows for certain why her transmitter stopped working. It was, it was common, however, for sea turtles to be caught in nets while swimming in fishing ports. Those nets were keeping turtles from reaching shorelines and building new nests, and they may have stopped Adelita too. Now that the fishermen knew the turtles had come such a long way, they began releasing them from their nets. Just as the other fishermen wanted to do better, so did others. Children raised funds to study new ways, and they were studying additional sea turtle voyages. Researchers looked for new ways to protect turtles as they swam. Adelita's journey drew people from all over the planet closer together. She touched hearts and inspired change change that made our oceans a little bit safer for other sea turtles. Today, more loggerheads are able to complete their own incredible journeys and return to the beaches where they were born. Adelina made a difference.